Benedictus from Requiem by Shufra McSherry. Benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. Death neither crept nor slithered when he came, nor routed us in battle. To us was offered neither gunpowder nor plot, dulcian nor decorum. He just came in one day without knocking, nodded to us, hung his hat in the hall and left. For the next few weeks we side-eyed the black borsalino hanging stiff and dusty on the coat rack among our summer jackets and raincoats in kingfisher, cream, suede and emerald green as we passed on our way out down the town. We considered this behaviour ill-mannered. The black hat shifted the symmetry of things, made us feel an edge without quite knowing why. The geometry of the house changed. The paths between rooms we'd known for twenty years suddenly switched around. A bed appeared in the sitting room for the times Flower couldn't make it up the stairs. Death took to visiting more often. He tended to lurch alarmingly as if he might fall, but somehow maintained an exasperating swagger. His legs were thin as candy canes and his jaw was startlingly defined. He made us feel awkward and we wished his visits were shorter. We could never think of anything to say. To make things worse, we kept finding things he'd left in every room. Empty bottles of cheap imported beer, a pack of playing cards with all the queens missing, an annotated copy of Pope's essay on man, Papia Machia Dea de los Muertos figurines that clashed with the decor, which was mostly magnolia and terracotta, a country farmhouse theme with oak. Not knowing death's address, we put the things out at the edge of the drive, but they reappeared in the fireplace and the coffee table overnight. Growing annoyed and feeling somewhat taken advantage of, we drove the stuff to the dump in a quite clear statement that we and dust were done. The next day, however, they returned. We have grown accustomed to tripping over nonsense in the hall, memento mori bob in the bath with us and nestle on our pillows when we wake. The deluge takes its toll on our goodwill, although we try to remain hospitable. Flower broke down crying the other night after emptying the oven of stained artificial daffodils only to find the fridge was full of spiders. Some days it takes an hour to dig the car out of the dirt. We don't go out much anymore. Flower is taken permanently to bed in the front room and the things she says grow further and further apart. We find your intrusion at this time to be particularly inconvenient.